Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. This is part three of my trip to my country number seven, which is Israel. In this video, we're gonna cover the Mount of Olives, Masada, and the Dead Sea. So without further delay, let's jump in in the video. Okay, so we are now in uh, the Mount of Olives. Uh, this is our, I think, fifth day in Israel now. And you can see the view from up top. Okay, there's Charlene. We went to another location in the Mount of Olives to check out a more scenic view of Jerusalem. And we were told to watch our pockets because apparently there's a lot of thieves who frequent this area. Wrapping up with Mount of Olives, we drove to Masada and we had a stop over at a viewpoint to see the Dead Sea, which was absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're now in uh, Masada um, with Karen and my sisters, and it's really hot weather right now. We're just lining up until we can go up. So we'll uh, film it once we actually get going. Okay, we're, so we're up in Masada now and it's really nice here. The only problem is that there's a huge horde of Chinese tourists that is making this place kind of unbearable because there's so many of them. There's a lot of tourists in general, so this place is just uh, quite a tourist uh, fest right now. Once we got to the top of Masada, we started exploring. There wasn't so many tourists, and if the weather wasn't scorching hot, maybe it would have been more enjoyable. But overall, we still like the historical aspect of it, and once you get away really far away from the tourists, then it's not so bad. Okay, so we're gonna explore this place further. Um, it's very nice. Uh, unfortunately, there's just way too many annoying tourists. a few more pictures we wrapped it up and we were now heading towards the Dead Sea. The drive towards the Dead Sea was actually quite scenic. You might even argue that it was more fun than hanging out in Masada just because of the sheer amount of tourists and it was nice to see all these dates that was growing all over the place so that was quite a nice experience just driving on our way to the famous Dead Sea. Before long we arrived in the Dead Sea and we took our time to just look at the scenery before going towards the water and going for a dip. Apparently you were supposed to lather your skin with the sand to prevent the sun from burning you. But the tricky thing is that when you go to the water, those sand falls off. So I'm not really sure if that's really a good idea. As for me, the moment I went in the water, everything just hurt because the salt gets in all the open wounds that you have so if you have any cuts it's gonna burn like hell and it's hard to avoid the water from splashing into your eyes so again your eyes will also burn it didn't take me very long for me to leave the water and I don't mean to complain here but man that was painful experience to go for a swim in the Dead Sea I think you should do it once in your life, but I don't think you should do it again just because it's so painful to be in that water. It's definitely not enjoyable, but it's definitely an experience, so you will definitely never forget it. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video on Israel. We do have one more video on Israel, but it's in the area of Palestine, so that's going to be the next video coming up, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also go to the description below and sign up to the Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get the 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to travel around the world as a Canadian, how to save money on travel as a Canadian, and how to earn income online as a Canadian. 
All right, we'll see you then.